In the goblin starting zone at one of the gas stations, there is a small group of goblin supermodels who are all ridiculously good looking, having a gasoline fight with a disco ball in between them. This is a very obvious nod towards the beginning of the Zoolander film where all of his friends die in a freak gasoline fight. In the Badlands, there is a secret crypt inside one of the mountains with a skeleton sitting in a chair with a sword next to him. This is a reference to Conan the Barbarian, and when Conan enters a crypt and takes a sword from a corpse, then the corpse comes to life and attacks him, and the only way Conan can kill him is by throwing him in a fire. The most obvious easter egg in the entire game takes place in Shatra. There is an orc named Crow Threadstrong who constantly yells and taunts a human fruit vendor. In Negran, there is a floating island with an apple tree and a skeleton with an axe through his head. This is speculated to be Newton's tree, and he has been killed before he could discover gravity, and that's why there are floating pieces of land everywhere. And by speculated, I mean I made that up. In the Tarokar forest, there is a moth named Naphthalar. Naphthalene is an aromatic hydrocarbon and the main ingredient in making mothballs. In the Shulzar Basin, on a small island, there is a little hatch with a mouse over text that has all the numbers from the secret code and lost, plus one. On a lone mountain off the coast of the Jade Forest, there is a house with a whole bunch of balloons on top. Inside the house is a grumpy old panda, and a lucky dude with a big ass backpack, and a dog named Dig. This is all probably referencing a movie called Up, about a man who flies around with his balloon house with an annoying kid and a dog named Doug. In Undercity, there's a room with a bunch of human prisoners in it. Next to one of the cages is an alchemist who hands a potion to one of the prisoners. The man gets turned into a frog, squirrel, rabbit, and a sheep. When he turns him into a sheep, he pokes it repeatedly and the sheep explodes. This is a reference to Warcraft 2 and 3 where if you clicked on a sheep or other critters enough times, they would engulf in flames and explode. Off the shore of Booty Bay, there is a giant statue on a small island. If you look inside the head of the statue, there is a ton of pirate treasure along with a few dead bodies. In the middle of the Lake Dumont in Feralis, there is a small island with a destroyed mage tower and various NPCs, each named after a person from one of Blizzard's development team. 